Hello and welcome friends to another new affordable school fountain pens episode. Today I have for you two fountain pens made in China exclusively for the Greek retailer Jumbo in my country of Romania. I bought these uh, two interesting fountain pens. Practically they are the same models. One, uh, as you can see, both have uh, this uh, gold uh, cap and one is black and one is uh, pearl white. I don't know the manufacturer in China. I have two theories about them, but you can surely see on the body this geometrical shape and it reminds me of the design of a Nokia called Nokia Prism. And I think that the Chinese um, designers, it is a possibility that they uh, borrowed some design elements from the Nokia Prism mobile phone. That's why I will call those fountain pens, uh, fountain pens, uh, the Prism fountain pens. As you can see, they both came in this package, this cardboard package quite a plain package. On the front we have uh, this transparent plastic. We have written Stilo, which means fountain pen in Romania, on the front of them. And on the back, let's check one of them. It has a warning, choking hazard, not suitable for children under three years old due to small parts. It mentions that this is a product made in China, especially for Jumbo, which um, is registered to this uh, Athens um, address. And we also have a web address www.ejumbo.guru from Greece. They are quite hard to open. This uh, package is quite hard to open. And I think I will use a scissor. You know that I'm not a patient guy, and that's why I will use my scissors to open the package. And I will open both of them. This will be like a comparison review. They are practically the same model. Let's see if I've managed to... Whoa, they are quite hard to open. So I'm sorry guys for your time. I will try to reach. This is a full unboxing experience. Let's take this one out. Let's see if I can remove the fountain pen. And the other ink cartridge thank god so interesting now i know this that um, the black one has black ink cartridges and the white one has blue ink cartridges included in the package oh this i managed with simply raw power okay this and its ink cartridges. Rather ink cartridge. Please open it. Oh my god. I've made the mess. Sorry about that. Let's put them here. Let's take the scissor out of the pictures. Okay. I will start with the black one. This is plastic. Let's see the cap. Oh, yes. Nice. Let's check out the cap. The cap is also plastic. You can see... Let's give it a little zoom. You can see it has this metallic clip. Let's see how functional it is. Hmm. Quite functional. I uh, like it ends in this uh, black plastic part and I must tell you it uh, gives a nice contrast between the gold and the black. I like the fact that this part is like reinforced with this plastic add-on. As you saw the cap is friction fit. 
it uh, requires some force when you open it. Let's look now at the beautiful, beautiful grip section. I like the fact that it's uh, transparent and I like the fact that it has uh, these lines cut into it that offers you a nice grip position. Also, this system right here ensures that all the ink is uh, evenly distributed to the nib. And uh, speaking about the nib, we have an EF Kichren nib. And uh, if you saw the previous review where, where I talked about the rainbow fountain pen, you can see that uh, this is the same manufacturer also an EF nib, also a steel nib, at the back this plain plastic feed. The most interesting part of this fountain pen is it is its barrel. It has uh, this uh, shape sculptured in it and it looks like a prism. And of course it reminds me of my uh, young days when uh, I enjoyed the design of the mobile phone, uh, Finnish mobile phone Nokia, which was also entitled Nokia Prism. Okay, the barrel unscrews. And, oh, sorry, I was expecting uh, this uh, this cartridge to fall out. This cartridge is a proprietary cartridge made by the Jin Hao Corporation in China. So it is possible that this is a Jin Hao model made specially for the Greek retailer. But as you can see, uh, we don't have Jin Hao. Not on the nib, not on the... Okay, this is inserted. Now I will close it. Close like this. And I will simply leave it here for the ink to reach the nib section. Let's look now at the white one. The cap is identical, but it, it, we have a slightly difference. This is a white uh, piece of plastic, which um, is the same color with the um, color of the body. It's like an ivory color like a pearlish white the cap also is friction fit and interesting we have the same black transparent grip section we have practically the same nib the same feed and we unscrew the cap let's take a cartridge so this has um, blue cartridge and the other model has black cartridges speaking of cartridges I don't think that it could hold two of these cartridges but I will try to see if I am mistaken no I was right so you can only carry one of this cartridge at a time in the barrel okay so these are our two fountain pens i will leave their dimensions on the screen and uh, then we will try to do a writing sample and i will start with the black one okay let's see if we can post it yes and interesting, it posts till it reaches that zone. So it is a well named uh, uh, Prism. Prism fountain pen. This is made in China. On the nib, we have Kichren. But the cartridge tells us we have a Jin Hao product. Jin. How? Of course, regardless of the producer in China, they are produced for the Jumbo Greek retailer. 
and I bought this uh, in Romania for only four ninety nine. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, and I bought this in Romania for only six point ninety nine lei, which means I paid one point forty four euros, or one point seventy two. American dollars a piece. We have an EF nib, a steel nib. Let's see if it is juicy. Not such a juicy nib. And let's see how. No flex. I don't like especially the F nib, EF nib in combination with a low, let's say, a low level of um, uh, flow, of ink flow. As you can see, it doesn't scratch, but it has some uh, feedback. And personally, it could have been a little bit smoother. This is not uh, a critic because it works at this price. Uh, no problem, bring it on. Okay, let's see the other one. And I'm especially interested in the nib, EF steel nib. I will try also. Uh, this seems a little bit juicier to me. Maybe it's the ink, but this certainly has a little bit more juice to it. And of course the same feedback, but uh, with more juice means um, a finer writing um, instrument. But just look at them, <laughs> they are practically the same nibs. But one is juicier than the other. So at the end of the day, this white fountain pen with this its nib saves the day. It is a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you've enjoyed this review, please support me by subscribing to my channel. I will try to bring you each day another new or vintage fountain pen. So if you want, please be part of my fountain pen journey. As always, I wish you to have you to have a nice day. Why not? I will try also with this one. Let's say, have a nice day. Yes, this has a little problem with the ink flow, as you can see, in comparison with the other one. So this was my review. Thank you for your time. I wish you to have a nice day and bye bye.